Hey, hello everybody. I hope you are doing well. So first, I wanted to say a few things about next week uh, because it's Christmas. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to post on Sunday. So I might have to move the day that I post either to Monday or maybe uh, anticipate it. Or if I can make it in time, I'll just schedule it and just leave it scheduled for Sunday. At any rate, uh, there will be a video, just not sure it's going to be on Sunday. So um, I'm sorry for that, but at this point I can't really make assurances in, on that in that regard. So what you're seeing is a charcoal drawing that I did during these uh, two weeks, probably. And the reason why it's going to look a little bit chaotic in terms of the filming is because I'm still kind of ironing out the kinks of filming in a larger format at my bigger easel. And so, you know, that comes with a few troubles. It, it really is not as easy as I would like it to be. And so, you know, also my app on the phone where I film was not being cooperative and failed me a few times. That's why sometimes it seems like there are strobe lights in the room, but it's not it. It's just it's just a phone trying to adjust for lighting. So I'm going to improve on, on all that. So please bear with me and pretty new at this um, type of filming. Uh, I was mostly used to film m more detailed stuff and these larger format pieces have um, different requirements, let's say. Also, I was a little bit out of frame on a few moments, but not it's not too bad. Um, for the most part, I'm in frame, and I kind of tried to keep in frame and, and do all that. So the idea for this drawing is basically, or was, the premise was basically a female dark angel. I used a, a beautiful reference I found online of this gorgeous model that um, has this really sinister face and I really liked it because she's beautiful but not perfect and I like that I like that a lot and so I just basically took from her from the reference of her the things I enjoyed the most about her face their no her nose and her overall striking look but I didn't want the exact likeness nor am i sure that i would get it <laughs> uh, but i didn't even try uh, i really just wanted the main characteristics of her uh, face and i really liked um, the way it looked uh, when i finished it i struggled a lot with the hands this time i don't know i was just not some days it's just just not able to pull it off the first hand actually didn't turn out half awful, but the second one took me, a, I don't know, four, four attempts before it came out reasonably good. And I should say that I never really did much of charcoal drawing, and I love it. It's very interesting. I really love it. It's very fingertippy. <laughs> I, I get to use my fingertips a lot, and I like that a lot. I like to feel the the dust and all oh, that's really nice. It's very hands-on approach to drawing and I like that a lot, but it's 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 hard, man. It's really it's not not as easy as I thought and I never had dedicated enough time to realize how hard or not it was. So I was not having a good time with this hand and I had to erase it several times, change positions until it was so bad that I had to redraw it altogether. So I did that. I took it apart and did it, the entire thing from scratch. And in the end, turned out something way closer to what I really wanted. And um, that process took a long time. That's why you see me going back and forth on this end until I finally got a drawing that I really liked and I was satisfied with. And then I proceeded to finish the drawing. I really loved this experience. Um, it's, it's it's a different kind of thing, but it was really cool. I thought about talking today about a subject that I really like, uh, that I really found interesting, 
which was um, sort of um, that Jason actually talked about um, on a he commented about because I requested on the last video I requested you know you guys' suggestions for stuff to talk about and Jason provided a few a few um, suggestions. Uh, I like them all, but I kind of think that if I bring in some of the stories from the tattoo world, so to speak, it's just kind of random and, and I don't know, and without context, it's kind of weird, basically, because most of those stories are actually very personal from my from my clients, and I really I don't know I know that even if I hide their their identities, it's not a matter of that. It's just I kind of feel like I'm sort of violating their you know trust I, I, i'm not sure you guys understand but i think you, you can can sympathize with that I, I wouldn't i wouldn't like that so the other subject that he suggested uh, for me to talk about was if i had ever tried to do something in abstract or surrealist painting and i kind of thought about it and I just thought, this is a talking video. This is probably, I prefer like face you guys and just talk about it. It's not going to be an art video and maybe that's not a good thing. <laughs> um, but I prefer to talk about that in just like an honest face-to-face -face conversation sounds like a better thing to me because I don't, I'm not really part of the clique that eats this whole modern well, not modern. It started with modern art, but you know, all the the whole contemporary fine art scene is not something I really am a fan of. And that, of course, influences what I want to do and what I like to do. But I think it also should I should also put in some of my life story regarding art, and then you'll understand why I haven't tried those fields. Uh, I haven't tried them in any in-depth or serious attempt, so I will uh, I will be addressing that, and probably this week I'll be dropping in the middle of the week a new video just talking about this, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will be seeing you till then. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.